Hi guys, welcome to Susie and Friends. Got a brand new guest for you this weekend. You haven't met Oscar before, have you? No. No. Hi, Oscar. I met Oscar. I met Oscar, um, well, several years ago. <laughs> you go to my son's school, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And Oscar did something pretty impressive earlier this year. While I was on Dancing with the Stars, Oscar created this. How cool is that? Oscar, how old are you? Uh, I'm 11. You're 11? But when I made that, I was 10. Far out. How did you make that? Did you carve it all out by no, hand? Or? No, I 3D printed it. You use a 3D printer? Yeah, I 3D printed that. And is that all one piece? That is phenomenal, isn't it? Far out. How long have you been using a 3D printer? Um, one year. Mm -hmm. um, this year, I believe it was. Yeah? Quite, yeah? quite difficult to use? Yeah, it's quite difficult. Yeah, but you've been making, making a lot of things, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, as you can see right here, here and here. All of this is made on a 3D printer? Yep. Far Just out. Depends. Like, these guys all here were made in one piece, and this one was made in several as well as that one. OK. How many pieces would something like that big helmet take? Eight, Eight pieces. Eight pieces. Far out. So then you have to glue everything together. Yeah. And then sand it all down. Yes. Mask to make it, it up really fine. so you don't get blue on the grey and grey yeah. on the blue. Yes. And, and then put it all together like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can I ask you to put it on? Sure. It's magnetically held together. If I just pop this on. Whoa. Oh, oh my goodness, that is phenomenal. Look at that. Even with the Perspex window that you can see through. That is so cool, isn't it? Brilliant. <laughs> What's it like to wear? Is it heavy? Oh uh, no, it's quite light. It's actually hollow. Okay, let's have a look inside. It's just foam. Oh wow, so you've got the foam there to make it nice and soft on your head. Yep. And it is quite light. It looks like it'll be really heavy and it looks like it should be on a on a movie set, don't you think? Very yeah, cool. I agree. Um, is it made for just one size head? Uh, yeah, but I think it could fit you. I'll give it you a go. Take off your glasses. Oh yeah, good idea. Take off my glasses. Will it fit? Let's have a look. Head first and then put the chin. No, I can't. Do you know why? Because I've got a big bobble on the back of my head. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay. Well, we'll save that for another day. <laughs> yes, yeah, some viewers might have noticed something that popped out the bottom when I took the helmet away. What's that? Ah, yes. What is that? Let me hold this. Oh, yes. Because this is quite impressive. I'll hold this This over little here. guy is a brush bot. A brush bot. Yes, um, made out of a toothbrush. Mm-hmm. Um, and is it like a robot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a little dancing robot. Uh, you put his eye on, and then you just go. Oh, my a, goodness. It's a buggying brush bot. Far out. And you made that yourself? Yep. Well, with a bit of help from my assistant. <laughs> Dads are good like that, aren't they? Yes, yes, they are. Well, do you saw a mum's too? Is mum quite handy as well? Yes, yes. Yeah. It can be. Very cool. So you've got all the bits and pieces there to make a brush bot. Yes. They're pretty easy to make? Uh, sem semi, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. OK, would you like to show us what you need? Yes, you'll need a toothbrush. I've already cut this off, the rest of it off. OK. So you need an old toothbrush and you want to just splay out the bristles here. You'll need this foam tape. You'll need some scissors. You'll need this little vibration motor, which you can get at uh, some tech stores or find in your toothbrush if you want. Some googly eyes and a battery. Brilliant. OK, now you've got all the bits there. Yep. What do you do to put it together? Ah, now that's the semi-difficult part. <laughs> um, so you want to start off by measuring out a little bit there mm -hmm. and just cutting that. Oscar, do you need foam double-sided tape or can yes. you just use double-sided? Foam works the best, but you can use an all double-sided tape. Okay. You just want to cut this so you have a nice square that can fit on your, little, your toothbrush head. Now you've got your toothbrush. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is you want to peel off the covering on the tape. Oh, yeah. And you want to stick on the vibration motor. And now you've got that done, so you can put that to the side for now. And now we're going to be working on this guy. So you're going to want to sniff off a little square here. Stick it onto here. And the reason I'm doing that is so that this little cable, this little cable here, comes in contact with the back of the battery. So now I've got that. And now I want to peel off the backing of this. 
like that. And I'm going to just stick it on like that. Now I just need to take a few snippets off of this. And I'm just going to do that. Now here's the interesting part. We want to peel off this backing as all the other ones. Um, stick it onto there. Depends with your brush spot uh, where you move the wires. Mm -hmm. But with my one I'm doing it like this. And you want to take this piece, stick it on like that. Peel off the backing like the other one. But this one's a bit different as you're going to need to stick it onto this wire, but like this. So now that we've got that, whenever you want, you can just pop on his eye properly. Mm -hmm. There you go, and you've got your own little boogieing brush spot. <laughs> oh my goodness, it moves so fast. Yeah, he likes to fall over. That's why I said earlier, splay out the bristles, because yeah. you'll want to uh, make sure he's as stable as possible. Also, when you need a used one, so he's a bit more stable. And sure. if it's not working as well as you hoped, you can actually just move this further down and rotate his little eyes if you want, which would actually be quite useful right now. Um, so let me just move this down to here. Is that to give it more balance? Yeah, it's to use the eyes as kind of like a buffer. There you go. Wow. You got a nice beginning brush spot. That is very cool. And whenever you want to turn them off, you just go pull off that. So you don't have it connecting on both sides of the battery, it's going to stop. The moment you put the connection together, there we go, he's boogieing. That is so cool! And now you've got your two little boogieing brush spots. Mm -hmm. Let's bring them over here so we can have a look. <laughs> this one's gone crazy. <laughs> yeah, they always do that. There you go, I've got another one. Awesome! <laughs> one's moving far more slowly. <laughs> yeah, because he's fallen over. Yeah. Oh. Now they're both break dancing. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, well, thank you so much, Oscar. Mm -hmm. Very cool. What we'll do, I think, is take some photographs of this and put it into a PDF, step by step, of how to put it together and mm -hmm. where you can find the things. Because if you don't have an electric toothbrush that's ready to go out, you might need to find where to buy those little yes. vibrating doop de doops. Well, it's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Will you come again and uh, show us some more things? Yeah, like this little blaster mm -hmm. from Star Wars. Ooh. Maybe I could talk more about this. Why not? Fabulous. Okay, that was very cool. Now, click on Oscar if you'd like to find some more um, cool kids doing cool things, and click on me to subscribe. That way you'll know when we are back with something new for you. Cool. See you next week. For more information about Susie and Friends, visit susie.co.nz and join us next week for some more fun. See ya.